from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the New York Yankees. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll. And on the mound now, Nestor Cortez Jr. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Gunnar Henderson leading things off and takes a strike. The shortstop takes a ball. And that's no, outside. That's the only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Like oh. it was a little bit up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. It's a leadoff oh. walk, and that's the go-ahead run. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Here's Adley Rutschman. And he can't come up with it. Fired to second. On to first. Ow, double play. Just got it there in time. The 3 6 1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. He's someone that really beats up on right handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him oh. a little bit more trouble. First pitch just misses. O'Hearn goes six feet, three inches, hitting third in the lineup, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Two down, nobody on. Right through there for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. And that's in for a strike. This to third. Throw on to Rizzo, and that'll do it. Orioles nothing, Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in New York, and getting the start for Baltimore, Cole Irvin. Well, that whip is just below the league average, and that's a good thing in this case, not allowing too many base runners. So on most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win, and I expect to see that from him in this one today. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. That's your stop. Anthony Volpe. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Ball. The shortstop takes a ball. One ball, no strikes. The 1-0. Oh. That's ball for a strike. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. 
They're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there, oh. understand what's in his repertoire, be aggressive in what you can handle. And you get three swings, why not take all three of them? With his control and command, he's going to be in the strike zone. I thought this was a fun note on Soto. In 2023, he hit home runs in Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. I don't think it matters where Soto plays. He's going to hit home runs everywhere he goes. Uh -oh, and another ball. ball. One out, base is right. empty. Next That's offering misses down and away. Three and one. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something belt high. And yeah, there's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. One gone, runner at first. And next for New York, Aaron Judge. Swing and a miss, strike one. Oh, and one. Soto leads off first with one away. Got him! Two out. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Here's Alex Verdugo. Just nope. missed. Offering his foul back. And a pitch. In for a strike. And it's one and two. A one two count. One All two. he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Two outs. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Just trying to protect, keep the at-bat alive. Left-hand batter waits. Now fly ball to right center. On his way over. He's got it. That is the inning. One left for the Yankees. Scoreless after one. more from the Bronx. New inning getting started. And now the right fielder, Anthony Santander. Cortez back to work. Just Ball. missed. One and out. And that one sliced foul. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. The 1-2. That's inside. Ball. That delivers ball. outside. Down is full. And it's ball Take four. He missed ball, down ball. low. 
Here's the third baseman, Jordan Westberg. And that one fouled off. You'll want. That's ripped into the outfield. And there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Colton Kowser getting ready to hit. That one at the knees for a strike. With the go ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. Kicks and fires. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. So two down now, and here is Cedric Mullins. Just oh, missed. No score here in the second. That one the other way. And that's a fair ball. Verdugo quickly throws it in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Now it's going to be Kyle Stowers. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Two on, two outs. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's out number three. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Second. Here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Second baseman. And he deals. Hard hit to third. On to O'Hearn. One up, one down. Batting fifth. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. You know, Boog, from time to time, players mix up their routine if things aren't going their way, and Rizzo is no exception. When he was in a slump in 2023, he changed his walk-up music to Taylor Swift. No bad blood there because it worked. He went four for four and hit his first home run in over a month. He even gave credit to Swift after the game. And it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. And the first oh, pitch misses rough. for ball one.
And that's a strike. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Ball tied up, bottom half of inning number two. And a count one and two. Just misses with that one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. On the ground to third. Fires to second for one. On to O'Hearn. Two. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, Jorge Mateo now. As the lefty gets to work. And a good no, eye there. Ball. And lines out to third. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Here's the shortstop at the play. Gunnar Henderson. In there at the knees. That's strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Ground ball Rizzo picks it up. Steps off first for the out. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. He hit into a double play his first time up. And strike one to the catcher. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. A laser to left is 14th of the year and the Orioles jump out in front it's one nothing how in the world did he manage to hit that one out it wasn't even in the strike zone high fastballs especially with good velocity can be really hard to catch up to but he stays tall his top hand works extremely well and he absolutely clobbered it O'Hearn no, takes a ball that's as that's he ball. stands in for the second time. Two outs, base is empty. And Shoot another up. ball, Cortez. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Two-two now. Fights it off, he'll see another. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? Well, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. <laughs> and that's the third out. Solo shot, and the O's draw first blood. And the home team down a run. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now in the Bronx, Here and here's the catcher, Austin Wells. The catcher. Austin. And here it comes. Fought off foul. Ooh. 
Looking to get the tying run on base. Right through there for a strike. Just misses. Now one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Next That's offering upstairs. That one down the line. Fair ball. It rolls down into the corner. They'll throw to second. And now the tying run is in the scoring position. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. That one oh. close, rule the ball. And that is ball one. <laughs> Fouled off, he was late. The middle, Mateo throws the first in time. One gone, bottom of the third inning. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. And the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Missed with a changeup. 1-0. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Very high with that one. Yeah, that's ball two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Kicks and deals. Hit in the air, center field. Settles underneath it. Squeezes it. Runner tagging from third. The relay, and he's safe. Tie ball game. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. Here's Juan Soto. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. And downstairs. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. He got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. That one misses. Now 2-0. Two, two balls, no strikes. Just missed. Aaron Judge would be next big bat with a potentially huge opportunity that just oh, missed he walked him on four pitches that just came apart right there four pitch walk okay. and guys the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone two outs runner at first Aaron Judge at the plate 0 for 1 he struck out swinging last time Judge rips that one. Kowser raging back towards the wall. It bangs off the wall. Around third. The relay to the plate. Save. He was all over that one. Anytime you smoke the ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. And it scored position with two away. 
Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And a foul ball. And there's a foul ball. Out to center. Stowers under it. And the inning is over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Three innings complete. It's the Yankees two and the Orioles one. As we go to the top of the fourth, Anthony Santander at the plate. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. That one missing low. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Next offering is in for a strike. Back to right. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Runner in scoring position. No outs. Digging in. Jordan Westberg. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Okay, he's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. So the tying run at second. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. The tying run stops at third with nobody out. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. That one probably had no business ending up as a base hit, but he got just enough of it to muscle it to the outfield, and that pitch was well in off the plate. A tough one to handle, but he gets rewarded. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Now oh. here is Colton Kowser. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. That's ball. That's inside. Just missed. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Just That's off the ball. inside edge. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That pitch gets the corner, and it's three and one. Snap throw to first, and he's back standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Next offering is in for a strike. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get ground ball double play. With the tying run at third, go ahead, run at first. Top half of inning number four. Line drive, calls it in, and there's one away. 
It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. And now it's even up. One, one. Santander, the runner at third. Westberg over at first with one away. And that's, that's in the ball. dirt. Way to lay off that pitch down. Two, one. This one in the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Kyle Stowers, the next to hit for the Orioles. He's over one. First pitch misses. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus yeah. on the pitch. That one finds the zone. One ball, one strike. Just no, missed. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Lifted in the air now the left side, and it drops in. In to score from third. It's 2-2. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a blue pit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Really important at bat coming up now. And here is Jorge Mateo. A little out front there as he swings through it. 0 oh, and 1. Two outs. Out to short. They take the force out. That ends the inning. And they limit the damage. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back in the Bronx, bottom four. Now it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. And the pitch. That one is upstairs. Slides for the stop. Fires to first. Nicely done for the out. Just so impressed with the movement on that play. Good work was excellent. The arm strength was there. And of course, the most important part was getting the out. And here is Anthony Rizzo. And he's already singled in this game. And he hits a ground ball right side. He'll do it himself. Yep. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Well, there's a lot riding now on that at bat right there. Base. Nice job of the pitcher DJ. to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground Ball ball. Base. Excellent piece of work. Here's DJ LeMayhew. 0 for 1 so far. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win.
So two down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Wells. One for one with a double and a run score. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. The next that's offering up, misses, ball. and it's a ball and a strike. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And it skips in the dirt. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at-bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Left-hand hitter waits. And fouled off. The pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. The Yanks lead one. Score remains 2-2. Two -two. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. Cortez back to work. That one is absolutely belted. And no one can get there. In safely with a leadoff double. Go ahead runs in scoring position. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Go ahead run on base. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. He's already homered in this game. That's down and in. And a good eye there. Next pitch misses, and now 3 0. Would love to see him get the green light, even with the 3 0 count right here. Let's see if he can create some magic. Ryan O'Hearn waiting for a turn at the plate. Man at second. Ball four, he walked in, and that keeps things going. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. And now the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. The pitch. That one to first, and he picks it up in foul territory. Andy two. Bows it back with two strikes. And a pitch. Just no. off the outside part of the plate. It's a good take. is outside. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The pitch. Can't connect on the curveball. Struck him out. Two on, one out. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles.
Well, all yeah. eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. The pitch. That misses oh. the zone. And now it's even one and one. Got him in the zone and a called strike. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. On the ground to first, could be two. To second for one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Well, that's great hustle out of the box to get down the line, knowing that a double play will end the inning. Good job at the finish, reaching out for the back. Now got runners on the corners and still an opportunity to pick up some runs. Jordan Westberg, the next to hit for the Orioles. That's First high, pitch, and he just misses. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. Colton Kowser in the on deck circle. Yeah. Strike one. Three balls, one strike. Three two two out runner on first a lot of movement in the infield hitters got to stay focused on the pitch battling here as he fouls it away trying to keep this a two two game and we're at the top of the fifth he walked in and that will keep things going oh he's been in a very giving mood today two outs base is full and into the box for Baltimore, Colton Kowser. Popped up left side. Volpe drifts towards it. Makes the catch. Inning over. Orioles leave him loaded. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Singleton and set to get us started. Bottom five, Trent Grisham. The lefty fires. And he yeah. takes one right on the black. It's 0 1. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Hard hit, right side. O'Hearn oh. takes it himself. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the no fifth. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Volpe oh, up to bat low, next. Lays off for a ball. Shortstop oh. takes the ball. Two and up. Went yeah. through there for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds. They're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Next one misses. Three and one. Three one. Juan Soto waits on deck. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. In the air to left, down the line. On the move. 
He's got it. And yeah, there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front well shoulder coming Thank open you. instead of staying closed. Oh. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Soto uh -huh. in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's a tap hitter. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. Right. This has been a treat to watch. This one popped up. Westberg under it. Brings it in for the third out. So the Yanks go in order. And this game is still tied at two and two. Top of the sixth inning. Now here's the Orioles DH. Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And a foul ball left side. And a pitch. Bounced out to Sh Volpe. Slings it across. Now one gone at the top of the sixth. Darren Boone makes his way out of the dugout and he will make a move to the bullpen. Nestor Cortez Jr. won't go any further tonight. And as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Luis Heal. He's been so good against lefties. And now the center fielder, Kyle Stowers. One for two. Up the middle. Volpe throws to first in time. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Mateo in the box now. Take strike one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Ian Hamilton appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Gonzalez, a left hander, also throwing the 0 1. And that one fouled off. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Righty delivers. One, two. This one in the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Man on second, two down. Ground ball up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. That leaves him without a throw, and they can't get the out. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ballgame. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Orioles leadoff hitter, Gunnar Henderson. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Two on, two outs. The shortstop takes the ball. And another ball. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Two outs. Outside. And that's ball three. 
Adley Rutschman would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. Ball four, he walked in, and that'll keep the line moving. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Adley Rutschman digs in now. He's already homered here in this one. And that drops in for a strike. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count, as he did right there. Kowser at third. Mateo over at second. Henderson at first. Two out of the inning. Good eye no, right there. The Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Another one, two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Home half of the sixth inning coming up. Deadlocked to two apiece. Well, we go bottom six. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. And a pitch. And oh, ball one down. to judge. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Hardliner, base hit into the outfield. The winning run crosses the plate, and the Yankees walk it off and win it 3-2. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan, a walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. 3-2 the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.